What is going on guys? This is Ben here bringing you another Vainglory video. In today's video, I'm bringing you probably one of the fastest matches like I've ever had in my Vainglory career. This is, I'm not saying like uh, someone like AFK is, that doesn't count. I'm saying like this is a legit match. No one quits, everyone's playing. No one goes AFK or leaves the match, so there's no surrender. This is like straight up, just, just straight up team versus team. No one leaving the shortest match I've ever had uh, in Vangler, and you'll see it here. And I'm actually going to support Taka, so our team is super, super aggressive early game. We got a Kestrel, a Brutus is on Kestrel, Peas is on Ringo. Uh, they're not in, they used to be in Apex, they are not in our guild anymore. Uh, some things went down on Rumbly Stream, and they, we decided to, or we decided to remove them to reset their fame. Um, kind of like on a slap on the wrist, and unfortunately, they decided not to come back. So, still friends with them. Uh, I would love to see them come back, but I think they are applying for other guilds. So, unfortunately, they will not be in Apex anymore. Uh, so, good luck to them in their future endeavors and everything. Uh, it's it's it sucks, but it's okay. They're, we're still friends and all. But yeah, back to the match. So they have a cruel, right? And we we have a Taka and a Kestrel. We're just trying to heavy invade, steal the farm. Cause that's usually what happens when you play against Cruels, you just heavy invade him as much as you can because he's really really weak. Uh, at first I didn't think he had a smite because I didn't see any smite, st like smite stacks on me until right about now and I was like oh gosh. Uh, but the Black Feather did rotate and he's uh, he's pretty weak already and our comp is a super, super strong early because Kestrel's a monster early game. Uh, Ringo, he's not like super super strong early game but he can be uh he's a lot he's more of a mid game or not mid game uh he's, he's definitely a one of the best early game laners i will say uh but yeah compared to their team which is a black feather which is super weak early game uh rumbly can attest to that because he's been trying to play black feather a lot later like a lot lately and he just says yeah until you get to like level six or whatever, you're still fairly weak and whatnot. But yeah, so they have Black Feather, Cruel, and we all know Cruel is amazingly weak early, amazingly weak early game. Uh, and then they have an Arden, which eh, I don't know. He's just there to keep them alive, but they don't, they're not strong enough to be staying alive. And then they actually come down here. I see the Cruel and whatnot down here, and the Arden. They're trying to take our farm. Uh, Kestrel gets caught by the Cruel there a little bit. And then the Black Feather rotates on. That was a complete surprise. It actually really caught us off guard. You can see Ringo up top there. Oh, uh, it just went back. So it's pretty much me versus two low health heroes, or all three low health heroes, but I have no damage. And I'm not very tanky enough yet to do anything. So that really caught us off guard. That was their counter invade. It actually worked out kind of in their favor. They got two kills and got our backs and everything, but it really is hurting on the Black Feather's farm. As you can see, uh, if, we, if I pull up the scoreboard again, I think I do soon. I think he has like eight or seven farm or something. Yeah, he's got eight farm right now. So not too, not too good for the Black Feathers farm, but it worked out for the Cruel to be able to get built up a little bit. Uh, so that that invasion kind of hurt, <laughs> as you can see. But they're going double weapon power, which is fairly interesting. And I think we just, as you guys can already know, like I said, this is the shortest match. No one surrenders. No one AFKs. It's just like. Pretty soon we'll start dominating. You can see their ring, uh, black feathers already weak. I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna go dive this. I don't even care. Go get them. <laughs> then run out, and then they were able to pick off the black feather. And uh, yeah, cruel isn't really anywhere to be found. So we're like, you know what? Well, there he is. I lied. He is there to be found. But I was like, you know what? Let's just kind of take this turret. I don't care. It's worth my death. But they're trying to. They're actually trying to burn down the cruel. I'm like, yo, we should be trying to take the turret. That's why I pinged at it. Because I think if we would have focused the turret, not the cruel, we would have been able to destroy it. But either way, Brute gets it with the arrow. I'm like, really guys? And I pick up the storm guard, and the reason for that is so, Taka, you know, he has his little box there. Since I'm going support anyways, I don't have to worry about, um... Because normally you don't want to pick up a storm guard if your support has an iron guard. Because normally the iron guard should be on the support player, so they can get gold. Uh, but you don't really, because I know before the, like maybe two updates ago, people could pick up the dual storm guards for a team. Uh, that doesn't work anymore because you don't get the gold, you don't get the benefit from it. But for me, I accidentally stole that there. 
I didn't. I was underestimating the damage off Taka with the Storm Grab. But yeah, so my reason was behind that I picked that up early, because it actually gives me a little bit of damage, and uh, I can just go like steal camps in the, in their farm with like I can box out of there and everything like that. So that's the reason behind that. My abilities still don't do that much, and they don't have a turret to fall back on. I kind of forgot about that. Otherwise, I would have kept going. But you can see. The Kestrel Assault with the Ringo is just so, so much damage, and with them being so this weak early game, like, they can't do much. <laughs> Cruel goes down. I have the Storm Guard. If we're able to kill Blackfeather or any of them, we can just... Well, they're actually really freaking weak, so now that I've <laughs> picked them off, too. Fortunately, we don't have minions, but I do have the Storm Guard. Keep them in mind, because that's really good at taking turrets, so we can already... This is five minutes in. This is better than the Saw pushing. We can already take... The second turret, which is just because we already have 900 gold ahead of them from the first turret, and whatever uh, whatever minions more we are stolen from them or anything like that. And I'm like, yo, I got this storm guard. Take those objectives faster. We're gonna take this gold mine and just increase our lead already. So you can see, we just were able to take that first turret, and that just put us that much far ahead. Like they're literally unable to do anything at that point already because we have so many items and whatnot it's crazy because uh, we deal so much damage and a fed Ringo and a fed Kestrel I know we're only talking six minutes in so you can't really say they're fed but any team that gets a turret <laughs> early is very good and they're trying to take this one actually they actually tried to counter take our turret which it almost went down it was close if they would have got it that would even the play field a little bit Arden tried to be a little bit sneaky there, right? <laughs> we didn't see him walk in that bush, and he tries to recover, we snuffed that out. So yeah, you can see that just a little bit of advantage just started to turn into a landslide. After the first turret, we had to buy some stronger items, and now they're to the point where they can't really do anything. We're just burning down the turret, burning down the turret, I'm taking these smite stacks, I'm taking these turret shots, and I walk right into the gauntlet wall. <laughs> But they focus me, which is fine, because I literally just have a Storm Garden uh, Renewal and my teammates have so much damage, so they're able to easily, easily pick them all down <laughs> and take another turret, dude. So we got the gold mine and three turrets in seven minutes. That is so much gold. That is a ton of gold. So, you can see where this is starting to go. Uh, they only have the two turrets left. I see my teammates all the, way across the uh, all the way across the map, so I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna take these. I'm not waiting. Taking these backs, getting that, getting that gold. Cause the next item up for grabs is the breaking point. I know I'm not super tanky yet, but we were so far ahead and dealing a ton of damage. I was like, you know what? I want to be a part of this. I want to get a breaking point. I'm trying to upgrade that ability. They're fighting right now. But I do have the renewal. He gets drilled by the ultimate. Catch up, catch up. There we go. Let's kill the Arden. And then Blackfeather, ooh, and I almost didn't renew Ringo there in time. That was that was a little a little late on the renewal, but nevertheless, it still saved him. We just wanted to wait till the last minute so it gets the most effect. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. That was a little close for comfort because that Ringo, if that if that uh, Blackfeather, I was stumbling around. Where's there? Would have got the I think like the last auto on him or something. Ringo probably would have died there. But yeah, we're taking the mini miner because we're already pushing hard. Uh, we can literally. Honestly, I think we can 2v3 them at any point right now. It's We're so far ahead. That's, what, 900 gold per player off turrets, so 2,700 gold just from the turrets. That doesn't include the gold mine that we got and all the camps that we've been stealing because we're so far ahead. I get trapped in the gauntlet, of course. Uh, that doesn't really matter much. I'm, like, lagging, like, driving my box back and forth. But the crew, um, he's weak. And we can just keep this push up. It's nine minutes in. Trying to kill the cruel. He doesn't have any sustain yet, dude. We are so far ahead. We have so many more items. It's it's ridiculous. And I don't really I didn't mean to recall there. I wasn't showboating or anything. You guys know me, I don't typically do that. And I'm like But right at this point, dude, the minions, man. None. So I was like, I wanted to tank it. If they would have pushed up with me, we would have tanked it, or I would have tanked it for them. But might as well, since they're trapped in their base at this point. 
literally can kill them before they can walk 10 feet into their base. Like, this is a sad. And the only reason is because we got that first turret early and then because we're, we're kind of like running in hyper aggressive comp. Like, their comp is, like, our comp is the bane of existence to their comp because they're so, 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 so weak early game. Blackfeather sucks early game, Cruel sucks early game. And that's the only reason. You can see the Vinkers actually blew up. If you watch the rewatch it, it blew up before 10 minutes. So this actually is a under 10 minute game. <laughs> so, and you can see they're all playing the whole time. Uh, yeah, that was a nightmare for them, that comp that we were running. But yeah, you guys saw the win there. Under 10 minutes, what's your fastest game you ever had? Not including like people surrendering or AFKing or anything like that. Just straight up team v team, everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like did and or subscribe for more Bangalore videos. Not already, hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.